Hi guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you around my temporary base. So it's temporary because I may have caused a slight international incident with some pirates. So this is my very quick build, but it has pretty much everything that I had before, but slightly rushed put together. So this is the main unit which you have on everybody's base. So I've got the standard equipment. Hi. And let's pop through here. So we've got the overseer which has been completed. All the quests have been completed. So he doesn't talk much anymore. And through here. And uh, we have the science terminal and his quests have all been completed and a random door. I seem to have doors everywhere. I don't think they actually go anywhere, but they're there. And the weapons specialist, he has also been completed. And a terminal, a trade terminal, if you can. They're quite expensive to build, but they are invaluable definitely get one of those in your base and I think we have some plants yeah we have some copyright flowers oh <laughs> there we go couldn't have timed that better there we go copyright flowers and through here we have our little farmer and his quests have all been completed as well and we have cactus flesh grown in here uh, more cactus flesh, more cacti, more cacti, many cacti. Um, I'm actually in the process of rebuilding all of my explosives, so that's why we have those and we have fungal mold through here as well. And this is the guy who builds the Roma, but I haven't had a chance to complete all of his quests. So there we go, we have some gamma root, fungi, more fungi, oh, hello. So let's just pop back through here. And oh, yeah, that doesn't work. That does not work. I do not like this base. I miss my old base. So let's pop around here and I think these are where my storage units are. That's it. So these things are also invaluable, especially if you're traveling traveling further out. It's great to be able to teleport back and drop things off. So let's have a look. So we've got some aluminium and gold, uh chrysonite. It's really difficult to come across you'll find it in big blue spires so if you do get a chance to stockpile it i would do so you do need it for some of the terminal puzzles the observatory puzzles um, and some npc conversations as well and in here we have glass living glass and things to make glass and in here more of the neutral elements that you find on most planets apart from gold um, I was quite fortunate enough to the have the first planet that I was on was absolutely full of emerald so I managed to sell a lot of that and make quite a lot of units quite early on and in here we have oh explosives and things to make explosives so I've got 13 at the moment, so that's going to be, um, they're about a million units, maybe a bit more if you find a system in conflict and sell them there. So they will be getting sold to go towards more building and freighters, of course, because they do not come cheap. And there we are, we have some kelp sack. Kelp sack is one that I would recommend also stockpiling purely because it's such a hassle to find it and to mine it out because obviously you're underwater. 
The dimensional matrix comes from the third tier sentinel, so that's the little mini dog sort of robot that comes out once you cause havoc with the normal sentinels. So I think that they are used in construction, but off the top of my head I can't remember exactly what they're used for. I have found these for trade, but it comes across very, very rarely. And of course the matter drone, which comes from a blue star system. When I find a new element, I do like to stockpile it in case we need it later on and it's difficult to get back to, but for now I haven't actually found a use for that. And here are the trade commodities. Uh, again, most of these will be quite familiar to you. You get these from answering the monolith puzzles and night crystals, which occasionally you find in boxes and I'm not sure where else, sometimes on a trade, sometimes trading posts, but again, very rarely. And again, I have no real use for them, but they're pretty, so they can stay in there. And in here we have more knickknacks and rubium, red star system, more chrysanite and vortex cubes and aquaspheres which are completely um, found underwater, uh, not very often, often found in similar systems to the vortex cubes and they are used in construction of the uh, membrane that you need to breathe underwater, the aeration membrane which you can see there. Because they're quite difficult to come across, the uh, upper tier membranes are quite difficult to construct. Again, you can get them from trades, but again, they are quite rare to come across. And in here, we have things to make the iridescite and the dirty bronze and the magna gold so they can be then sold for a pretty penny uh, so they are worth doing if you come across if you come across things like copper and gold it's it is good to make them and in here we have yay this is my precious elements box so as you guys know we've done quite a few videos on precious elements where to find them what they look like so throughout all of the game i have collected them and stored them away in case we need them omega on you do need to build certain things with um, and because they're so rare it's just great that if you can get a hold of them do store them they are worth a fortune and in box number oh, can't see in the dark zero i think we have more chrysanite some gamma root so this is where i store most of the things that have been uh, planted inside the base viridium is from a green star system the atlas stones were part of the game originally so i collected all of those and they are sat in the box and I think, oh, another door. I think I built something up here, actually. Yes, I did. So I'm just gonna pop over here. This is one of the things I love about building is that you're pretty much only limited by, well, obviously iron, um, but your own imagination when it comes to building your base. So in here, we are growing some solanium uh, because I did destroy my warp drive, so. I found plenty of gold to rebuild it, but I didn't have much of this. So now we're going to grow it. And there we have it. I haven't got any in there. Um, so that is my, that's my temporary little base. I very much look forward to rebuilding it into some sort of form and structure when I find the right planet. And there we go. Okay, guys. There we go. Okay, guys. Bye for now.